All right. How's everybody doing? Shebe is here. How's it going? Got seven people so far. So good evening, everyone who's who's on. Hope everyone's having a or had a great day or having a great day. Hey Tyler. How's it going? Daniel Atkins is in the house along with all firewood. All right. We got some uh I got some fun stuff lined up for tonight. So uh we'll give it a little bit of time here to let some people join on and then uh we'll get down to things. Hey Dave. So again, hope everyone's having a good Friday. <clears throat> hey, Daniel Atkins, today I was actually out uh, bucking up and splitting some pine. <laughs> not the uh, not the great Northwest Douglas fir, but close. Hey, Josh. Oh, you got to head to work. Well, that's that's too bad. Ronan. Ronan is in the house all the way from Ireland. <laughs> Tom Bryan is here. All right. F4 Firewood. Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> Tom. Tom Bryan. I've got something in store for you. So hang on. We'll get a few more get a few more minutes and then I'm gonna I got something for you here. <laughs> Merck is here and Richard Healy. How about those bears, Richard? Huh? <laughs> Looking pretty good last night. Anything to take down the Cowboys. That was a good game. <laughs> Hey, Wolf Ridge is in the house. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, one year in. And it's, uh, I guess it's been going all right. <laughs> Haven't been moving much wood lately, but not too worried. <clears throat> Holy moly, four chord order. That is crazy. Yeah, three years, Daniel Atkins. That's, yeah, that's, you've got quite a stash going on there too, my goodness. Like I told you, you're going to need some scaffolding to start stacking that stuff up and build it up. <laughs> All right, so I was going to, or I am going to uh, go over that. My uh, my first sale, like the the story behind it, it's kind of crazy. So uh, what happened was, so I put an ad on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I put it up like at I don't know, like I think it was like at six o'clock in the evening. Put the ad up, had a couple pictures, you know. Took I had my uh, face cord stacked up, took some pictures, made it all look nice and pretty. Ten minutes. Within 10 minutes, I had somebody message me asking if it was available. So I was like, oh, oh, I was quick typing back a response. Yes, it's available. Oh, yeah. yeah. So told him it was available. Um, he asked if I would deliver. You know, then I asked him where he was located. I didn't hear anything back. So five minutes later, I get another message. Somebody asking if it was available. So I'm just like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. So sent them a message and they didn't get back to me. So then I was thinking like, how am I going to handle this? If like I have people who have asked me if it's available, but then don't get back to me. Like, am I going to, you know, hold it for someone or if I'm going to, you know, like how do I handle the first right of refusal and all that stuff or whatever. So 
as I was trying to figure that out, I get another message. So like I had three people message me within a half hour of posting the ad on the marketplace. So um, the third person, this lady, she was like, you know, do you deliver or how much is your delivery? I asked her where she was located. She told me and it ended up being a half a mile from my house. And she said she would take it. So I'm like, all right, I guess the other two people that I'm waiting to hear back from, that's it. Sold. <laughs> so my first delivery from Selling Firewood was a half a mile from my house. <laughs> and she bought both face cords. And then about a month later, she bought some more. So it was like, it was just crazy how, you know, it ended up happening. But that was the one thing that I was struggling with is like, how do I, you know, how do I say, okay, if I'm waiting on someone, do I tell them I'll hold it for them? And then if I get somebody that wants to buy it, do I keep waiting? Like, how do you, I mean, I don't know. So yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. You know, you just, I don't know if any of you guys out there who sell fire would have, you know, how you deal with it. Like if you, you know, first come first serve, or if you hold it for people, I mean, I'm guessing that if you hold it, you know, somebody wants it and you're holding it for somebody and then all of a sudden that person decides they don't want it or they find it cheaper, then you're stuck sitting with it. So I don't know. Hey, did I see the saw surgeon in the house? He is here. And Larry Cluck, how are you guys doing? Oh, Larry, I hope you can hang around. I hope you can hang around, my friend. I got something I think you're going to like. <laughs> hey, there's James. Crazy eyes. Favorite brand of chainsaw? Well, I've only run I've only run steel my whole life. So I've never I've never ran a Husqvarna. So I don't know. That's the only one I've ever ran is uh is the steel. Oh. We are 7 minutes in and Ronan has Delivered another super chat. Holy crap. All right. You know what super chats mean? Everybody, raise your glass. Toast the super chat. Ronan, everybody, thank Ronan. Thank you, sir. Once again, greatly appreciated. Woo! Ronan, Ronan, Ronan. I got something for you, too, so I hope you can hang on here. <laughs> and there's Fern Hill Farm. Are you getting ready for tomorrow night? Your <laughs> the Badgers, the Buckeyes. <laughs> I don't have much uh, hope in the Badgers. But uh, so anyway, <clears throat> the one thing I did want to quick do and. Uh, now that we've had our first toast, we're going to do another one because, uh, let's see here. Tom, Tom Bryan, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a toast, sir. You asked me earlier in the week about doing a shot, but I wasn't too, uh, I wasn't going to, I didn't know if I should, <laughs> if I would do that or not, but I don't know if any of you have read any of the comments from my video today but uh tom tom bryan is finishing up his chemo treatment so i'm going to give you a little proper 12 irish whiskey here and i'm going to salute you sir and give you a cheers because that is your your uh, comment today it was very inspiring to me. So, Tom Bryan, everyone, here's to you, sir. Thanks for all your support, and like I said, cheers. Whoo! Yes, speedy recovery, Tom. Proper twelve. Hey, Ronan, if you see Connor over there anywhere. Tell him to call me. 
I need some more of this. Connor, McGreg Connor McGregor's proper 12. <laughs> so once again, cheers, Tom. All right, so I don't know um, if anybody's here who um, last week emailed me uh, when I was giving away those stickers. I don't know if you if you guys have gotten them or not. I hope you have. I actually ended up just going through, and if you emailed me, I think I sent you one. So even though I mentioned like people who had won during the live feed, I still sent them all out. So, but that's mostly because of Richard Healy. Because Richard did a super chat for postage, so I just took however much that was for postage, and I sent out everybody a sticker. Oh, yes, Ronan Jameson. <laughs> I know. That wood guy. Hey, that wood guy. How you doing? I didn't see you sneak in here. Who else is all in here? <laughs> so, um, I was, uh, I don't know if you guys, how many of you guys split, uh, run your splitters and you end up with like, like shavings off of some pieces. You'll get like a, just a real thin split like this or like this, you know, sometimes they just, they break off. So I get a lot of these. And usually what I do is I, I collect them all and I save them for kindling. Um, but the other day I was looking at these because I picked up a whole bunch. And I was thinking of something I could do with them. And I was thinking of something to do to like, I don't know, celebrate uh, just stuff with the channel and with you guys. So because today was my one year anniversary of my first firewood sale, I decided to look back at some of the other firsts that have happened. So something that's happened for the first time on the channel, I was kind of thinking about it. So what I did was I took some of these scrap pieces and I made a little five inch, I guess I'm just calling them wall hangers. <clears throat> and what I also did was I put on some of these, some of the first things that have happened on the channel with you guys. So I don't know if you all remember back to the first contest that we held for the water bottle. And the winner of that contest, the first winner, the first back 40 contest winner was Ray Haywood. So. I threw together a little skull and axes instead of the skull and crossbones. I got the skull and the axes for Ray Haywood because he was the first winner on the Back 40 Firewood channel. So, the other first thing we had, we had another contest and we had a t shirt giveaway. And the winner of that was Richard Johnson, the first Back 40 t-shirt winner. And Richard, he actually sent me a photo. He uh, he lives in the UK. And so I sent that. I mean, it, I don't know how long it took. It took a, a couple weeks to get over there. But he sent me a picture of him with his t-shirt on, out working with firewood. So Richard, if you're watching this, I love the photos. Thanks for sending them. And you are now going to go. I think what I'm going to do, hang on here, let me move this over. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting these like up here on the wall. I'm just going to fill this wall in with these things. Huh? What do you think? So, we also had, we also had a first unboxing. And I don't know if you guys remember, but the first unboxing, they're hanging right there. Tim Van Dusen, the first Back 40 
unboxing the Van Dusen axes. Right here. Here they are. They're still hanging. So, Tim, you're going up on the Woodhound Hall Wall of Fame, maybe? The Woodhound Wall? I don't know. I still haven't named this place down here. <clears throat> so, what just happened a little bit ago, we also had last week, Ronan, the first Back 40 Super Chat. Right there. That's right. Ronan, thanks again, my friend. So you are going up on the wall. And last week we had not only the first Super Chat, but we had the first Super Sticker. From Shimi. That's right. The first Super Sticker, which, I don't know, it's kind of crazy, those Super Sticker things. <clears throat> so there's one more, and so just to, you know, so I'm going to keep doing this with, like, different things. It isn't going to always be the first thing. It's just going to be, like, random things that I think of, you know, interacting with you guys, um, you know, things that happen. I'm just going to, you know, start pulling things together and, and putting these, making these things. But there's one thing, one other thing that used to that happens quite a bit dealing with the first and i think you guys know what it is when it comes to my videos coming out there's one guy that always is the first to comment he used to be and there were some people that would always you know make a big deal about this like oh why are you being the first to comment whatever whatever but larry larry cluck first to comment that's what right my friend I think it's awesome when you are the first to comment. So, Larry, congratulations. You're going up on the wall. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. You know, like I said, I just, I just think it's unique that, you know, you can get pieces of wood that just naturally come off the, uh, the splitter and kind of have, you know, irregular shapes. You know, everything's kind of, I don't know if you can hear that up there. The little boss man's having a sleepover with his cousins, and they are running around. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of like these little pieces of wood, they just, you know, they have their own little shape when they break off. It's just, it's unique. So I thought it would be unique to take one of those because... No two of them are ever the same. And it's kind of like you guys, you know, everyone's unique. Everyone's different. Everyone has their own thing about them. So that's what I did. Made some wall hangers. So next week, I'm going to put these up over there somewhere. And, you know, we'll uh, just keep adding to it. Like I said, I'm just, I don't know. I, I Sometimes I just get random crazy ideas and I'll think of something and I'll be like, all right. I'll pick one of you guys out that have done it. For instance, Fernhill Farm, I think you know what yours is going to be. <laughs> the Woodhound Den. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know. It's just, you know, something will come to us. Something will come to us. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> so I, well, I am going to do a, uh, another little giveaway here for everybody on the live feed, but I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to do it. So I'm still thinking, so we may have to, <laughs> the hound pound. <laughs> oh, I do kind of like that. Hey, David. David Barnhart, new subscriber. How are you doing, my friend? Glad to 
Glad to have you here in the back 40 with us, Woodhounds. You can kind of see how crazy we get sometimes. It's, uh, you never know what's going to happen either. So let's see. Let me just catch up here if there's anything in the chat I need to address. That's right. We all, and that's a good point, Daniel Atkins. We're all a little different. We all share the same addiction. <laughs> Firewood. <laughs> so yeah, that the video I put out today, like I said, has been kind of crazy because it's, it's, I mean, I haven't been, I haven't had my YouTube channel for a year, so I didn't want to make it sound like I'd been, you know, like doing this for a year. Like I've, I've been doing the firewood selling, like I've been making firewood my whole life, but I just started selling it a year ago. And then, um, I don't even think I'm, I'm close to six months, I think with my YouTube channel, maybe not, but yeah, it's just been, it's been crazy. There's been a lot of, uh, like where I started, what I, when I started the direction I thought I was going was where I'm going now is completely opposite. Oh boy. <laughs> Speaking of the sleepover, guess who's here? <laughs> Uh-oh, the boss man wants to come and say hi, along with his little cousin. This is where they take the video. Okay, look right up here and say hi. Hi. Oh, and there's one more. Hang on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's three of us. This is, this is, this is where. This and there's, is... there's one more little hound, little pup, little wood pup. Oh, what? and there's another wood pup right there. <laughs> well, 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 this is, this is Okay. Where, this is where, is this where me? Yep, uh, everybody's, I, everybody's saying hi. My, well, well, <laughs> well, do you know what? <laughs> They're having a sleepover tonight. That's, that's how I say. That's how I, hey, I, Tim. I, Tim's here. Kevin. I gave you a great idea today. That's great. Yeah, so like I was saying, I mean, I started out thinking, okay, I'm going to start selling firewood. I put up that ad, like I said, I mean, I had a half hour from the time I posted to the time I sold it. So I was thinking, oh, this is sweet. I'm going to be, you know, this is going to be awesome. But then all of a sudden I got thinking about it and I'm like, ah, because when I delivered those two face cords, I put one face cord in my truck and one in the trailer. And I mean, it was... Like, I just don't like putting that much load stress on the old Ford. I don't know how she's going to, was going to handle it. So I was kind of worried about how I was going to like make deliveries if I had to. And then I got thinking, all right, um, you know, am I going to have to eventually buy a dump trailer or should I look for a bigger truck or which, which way should I go? And I was just, so I was struggling with that. And then I was also struggling with, you know, like, how do I get enough inventory? Like, how do I build up enough, um, you know, wood to have on hand, to, like meet the demand? So then, you know, I kind of had a few here and there. People would come and I kind of kept up with it. And then once spring came, I just got the idea to put some wood for sale out along the, the road. And that just took off. and from the end of May through like 4th of July weekend, like I could not keep up with, with wood. Like I, well, at the time I only had one little stack. So like every time somebody came and picked it up, I had to go out and refill it. So, <clears throat> so it was crazy. <laughs> what is <clears throat> what is going on we need a moderator we need some moderators I get <clears throat> hey 
Hey, Greg Popple's in the house. <laughs> you like that, Ronan? <laughs> Yeah, F4 firewood. That's what I was I was looking at all over the place, like, you know, trucks with dump beds and dump bed inserts. And I mean, it was it was crazy, like what I was going through to like, you know, just figuring out, OK, how can I make this work? Like, how can I? But then, like I said, once the, you know, and it was like it was it was the same thing with. uh Facebook marketplace like I just put up an ad with my roadside stand and people would you know message me and I'd be like all right just come out and pick it up they'd come out pick it up I'd go out and refill and you know it was yeah it was it was crazy uh <clears throat> but um yeah it's so now, like I said, I'm just glad that, you know, I kept my open mind about not, you know, not trying to just, you know, stick with strictly, you know, heating or whatever, selling firewood in the winter, I guess. But, I mean, one thing I will say, like, to the guys that are doing it or thinking about doing it, like, don't lower yourself down to, like, the competition. <laughs> like, if you look out there on Facebook or on Craigslist, You'll see guys, you know, selling it for dirt cheap this time of year, like the beginning of winter. But that's because they don't have that much to sell. So they just want to sell like one pickup load and make a little cash and be done. So if you just, you know, wait that out and wait until, you know, the demand gets even higher, you know, that's that's the key. <clears throat> oh, Deer Rider, 1966. 300 unit campground across the river. Yes, you need a roadside. You need a, you need like a pontoon stand, a floating firewood stand. Floating firewood stand. That would be awesome. <laughs> what do you guys think? A floating firewood stand? <laughs> yeah so let's see here uh, hey, uh, I am gonna have to make another beverage here in a second so wait um Amo, one of those back 40 firewood stickers. Um, send me, email me, back 40 firewood at gmail.com. Email me your address, Amo. I know you were, I know you were trying to win one last week, so let me know. All right. A bundle machine, Greg. I have thought about it, but I actually, the bundles, I, I don't, I mean, I sell quite a few bundles, but not, I don't know, like my little, my little one loose stack that kind of fills up a trunk, car trunk, that's like my most popular one, like that sells. <clears throat> so, but I have figured out a way to, uh, to load my bags and I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing that I figured out a little like, uh, just a different way to load the bags. So I am going to be, I'll be showing that probably, I don't know, maybe end of, end of winter, come spring when I start restocking all the bundles. Um, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, deer rider. I think that would be, especially if that campground has campsites on the river, like on the water or on the lake or whatever, 
where you could just float right up to them. They could, you know, you could like deliver right to their campsite, just floating, you know, driving around on a boat, like little barge, the firewood barge. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. So if you do that, let me know. Send me some pictures or something. I want, I think that's that would be a good idea. Well, whoa. So, all right. Um, 50 bundles an hour? Greg, holy crap. But now, can you... Can you control like the size of the bundle or is it like set? That's the one thing I was I was wondering about those bundlers. But that wood guy, he uses a bundler, I think. Right? That wood guy. But you do a lot, you do a lot of bundles for that campground up there. So all right, um, yeah, that's what I that's what I do right now, with Jim Richards. I uh, I cut out I cut the bottom out of a five gallon bucket, and then I use that as kind of like my loading. Just put it inside the bag. I can pull it out. But I found something that is going to work a little bit better. <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, okay. Oh, what am I pouring? The only thing that gets poured around, well, the main thing that gets poured around here on a Friday or a Saturday or a Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, we're supposed to have it pretty nice here tomorrow. I think the high is 37. So I'm going to get out there and my little uh, deer barricade has been holding for two days. Nothing has come through. But tomorrow, I think the agenda is going to be fixing that fence. So. Yeah, not not quite, saw surgeon. Some of them. <laughs> oh, Ronan, that's the magical question. How much do you need in reserve? I haven't the slightest idea. Like I said in that video, if I think I would need ten cords, I'd probably need twenty. I mean, whatever you think you need, just plan to like double it, and you know. Just get as much as you can because, like last year, I I ran out with my roadside stand. So I'd have to go down, down to the farm where I had more. And, you know, I had, I had plenty stored down there, but that was kind of like for my personal use. But I would end up bringing a trailer back, you know, keeping some of it. But then I'd load the stand up and it would sell. And then the next weekend, I'd go down and get another trailer full and bring it back. And, Oh, it was, yeah, it was crazy. Hey, Tom, I get my bags on Amazon. And I'll actually throw that up on a link. Or actually, the uh, the back40woodhound.com, I've been working on building that site out a little bit more. I'm going to have a page where I like some of the stuff that I use. So I'm going to. I'm going to hope to have that website like fully ready to go in a, like maybe next week. So once I get that up, that'll have the bags on it. Oh, and I don't know how many of you out there are on Twitter, but I did activate my Twitter account. So now I'm tweeting at back 40 firewood in case any of you want to follow along. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's right, Larry. Larry's got it down. You can never have enough have enough wood. But that's the one good thing is that you know if you if you stockpile a bunch of wood this year, and 
you only sell half of it. It's not like next year that other half is going to be bad or spoiled. It's going to be ready to sell. So you just keep building it up. And <clears throat> But uh, the one thing is, and that's where I think I did actually do this in one of my videos. We're like, that's where you kind of do have to plan ahead with uh, your storing of your wood because a lot of times if you end up stacking it, you know, like if you make three rows and you sell the first two and then you start filling in new wood, like that last row is always, you know, it's always back there. So it's almost like you got to have a way to get to both sides so you can pull your inventory that's, you know, the most seasoned and then replenish it and then the next year pull from this side. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but we ran into that down on the farm with that one, uh, the one shed is we stacked it all full of wood. And then one year we only used about half of it. Well, then we filled it back up. And then, so the wood that was the most seasoned was behind the green stuff. So we couldn't get to it. So, <clears throat> yeah, Daniel Atkins, that's, that's the one thing is that you got to kind of have a, you know, a plan where you can get to your most seasoned wood when you need to. So if, you know, it's always something, there's always something to think about with firewood. I mean, you got to plan ahead, you know, you got to, you got to get your wood ahead of time. You got to store it. You got to season it. Always something. Uh, <clears throat> Mike's Hobby Homestead. I do have one video where I show how I, how I bag my bundles, but I don't, like, I'm not into mass production of bundles. I, I just do it all by hand right now with a bucket. So, <laughs> a future bunker build. Oh, Greg, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I do have a, I do have some ideas on finishing off our basement down here, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. <laughs> I did have this. I don't know if you noticed, but I like slid everything back to like get more of the stuff in the frame here. Now you can see I don't know if there's any Star Wars fans out there, but uh, Jabba the Hutt is up there. <laughs> Got an old Jabba the Hutt figure, action figure. Darth Vader is on the wall. <laughs> there's all kinds of little things hidden. Um. <clears throat> so... So, all right. Hey, Eat My Smoke is here. Eat My Smoke. How you doing down there in Florida? Amel, that's this piece of wood right here, believe it or not, is a cottonwood, cottonwood tree. It um when we moved in here and we built, there was I think nine big cottonwood trees out along the road next to our property and uh the uh the town the township the guy the town chairman or whatever he came out here and he's like well you're gonna have to cut those cottonwood trees down because you know they're they're getting in the way of the power lines and they're getting too big and they're you know and i was like i gotta cut them down I don't know about that. So I went out and checked and they were within the right of way of, you know, 33 feet from the center line or whatever. So I told them, I'm like, Hey, these technically are not on my property. They're the town's prop, the township's property. So if you want them down, you're going to have to take them down. So about a month later, here comes this tree service company <laughs> to cut down all these cottonwood trees. And so I went out there and I was like, Hey, um, if you guys don't want to haul all this wood away, you can just drop it and leave it right here and I'll take care of it. So 
<laughs> I ended up having like, I don't know how many cords of cottonwood that year. I mean, my front yard, it was just a sea of, of wood. But it was cottonwood, so that winter, or the following year when I burned it, it was like, psh, like burning paper. <laughs> it was it was crazy. Like, and the amount of ash, I don't know if some of you have, or anybody has burned like cottonwood in a stove, but it burns hot and it burns fast and it just leaves a mountain of ash. I mean, I was, oh, it was crazy. It was crazy. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's been a great day for uh, my one year, one year of selling. And I'm glad all you could make it here tonight. The boss man is back upstairs playing with his cousins. They're running around up there. <laughs> a rocket mass heater. I'm not even sure I know what that is there, James. But I don't know. <laughs> if it has to do with heating the house, probably not because my boiler out there is it's it does a good job keeping keeping the place warm. Yeah, Amy, well, it, it was crazy. That and this this piece this piece of uh cottonwood here is like one of the smaller ones. Like those trees were huge. It was it was it was insane. And there's actually one more that's between me and the neighbor that's really big and I'm just I'm just always afraid it's gonna come down. The one day the neighbor asked me, he's like, Hey, are you ever concerned about that tree up there? You know, any of the big branches coming down? <laughs> and I, I looked at him and I said, it only concerns me when the wind blows. <laughs> but we have, a, we have a big cottonwood tree down on my parents' farm that has been through two tornadoes. And I think, like, for whatever reason, cottonwood is, like, pretty, um, what's the word? It has a high tensile strength, maybe. <laughs> like, it doesn't break very easy. So... Yeah, which reminds me, I am going to go down, I have a, I'm going to do a video of this cottonwood tree because it has two burls on it. These two big burls that, it's crazy how big they are and what they look like. So, all right, let's see, what do we got going here? 43, yeah, okay, so here's the deal. Hang on. So, I'm going to give away tonight something. Last week I gave away stickers, but tonight I'm giving away a shirt, a t-shirt. <laughs> but here's the deal. <laughs> this may be limited, and the reason is because I only have size XL and large. And I only have what I have left is we'll do this. We'll make this easy. All right. I have an extra large and a large. So if you want an XL or a large t shirt, you want to be entered in this drawing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the comments from this video once it posts. So, <clears throat> if you uh, if you want to win one of those T-shirts after this video posts, go on there and leave a comment, and I will put you in a drawing, and then I'll have the little boss man pull the name out. I'll maybe throw that video up. But remember, I only have a large and an XL, so. <laughs> If you need a different size and you enter the drawing and you win, you're getting a either large or an XL. And I'll put that up in the description after this video goes 
you know, gets posted or whatever. All right. <clears throat> so, anything else that anyone wants to talk about here quick before we wrap this up? I don't want to go too long again. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes, I know last week we went a little long, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if what you guys what you guys think how long is too long <clears throat> So Mike's hobby homestead the 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 one thing I know and I don't know much about selling the gas stations but the one thing I do know um around here is that hey Richard Healy again with a super chat boom uh oh super chat time everybody thank Richard and Richard cheers my man thank you sir I greatly appreciate that <clears throat> so the one thing with bundles with gas stations um, I talked to a guy around here that supplies a couple gas stations, and the way it works for him is he has to, there's a certain amount that he has to deliver, and then when he delivers them, he gets paid that, you know, he gets paid as whatever rate it was. I think he said he gets like $3 a bundle, three something a bundle, and then they sell them for six. But it's like, if they call him up and they say, we need 50 bundles tomorrow, he has to be able to give them 50 bundles tomorrow. Like, otherwise they, you know, void the contract and they're on the next guy. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And that's why, I mean, if you're able to, you know, meet those demands, it's, it could be, it could work out really good because I know, like, well, I don't know how much the gas stations around me sell anymore now that I'm selling them, <laughs> but there's grocery stores and gas stations and there's always, I mean, there's always, I see, you know, I look and there'll be how many bundles and then next week there's less. So there's, they're moving them. Yeah. I think you have to have like a certain amount or maybe it's the supplier that set the amount. Like they have to buy so many. To get the deal that he gives them? I don't know. Yeah, you need to, you either need to have a lot of bundles on hand, like made up ahead of time, or you need to be able to make them quick. Like you need to be, you know, they call you on Tuesday and like Thursday, you need to deliver 50 bundles. So, hey, Joe is Firewoods here. Joe, 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 how are you doing? Hey, Joe, say hi to your mom. That was a heck of a video you had the other day with her out there helping you cut that limb wood up. <laughs> Pretty sweet, man. A family that cuts wood together stays together. <laughs> <clears throat> Who else? Woods Tree Farm is here. Hey, Woods Tree Farm. How how's everything going down there? I actually. So, how soon is too soon to get your Christmas trees? Like, is it is it good? I mean, if if you're gonna have them up for a month or so, is is now a good time? I always thought you had to wait like till the middle of December, but we're going to get ours this weekend, tomorrow or Sunday. I'm like, I don't know if it's too early. <laughs> we have to get a, uh, my wife likes to get a 12 footer. So we usually get a 12 plus foot tree. Cause we have this big vaulted ceiling in the living room. So what ends up happening is we get this big tree and then I have to sit over in the corner and turn the TV so I can just kind of see it. But I didn't know if you had to wait to like a certain time of the year, like, you know, wait till like the first or second week of December and then it's, it's better to buy them or if it depends on the temperature. I know last year when we got one, we got it the week after Thanksgiving and then 
the it started getting brown and dying like before Christmas. It was more than good. Hey, I've, let me check. Uh-oh, I froze up. Let's see here. I'm going to go look at if I have some new followers on Twitter. I do have some new followers on Twitter. <laughs> All right, so it depends on the type of tree and how well you water it. Yeah, that's that's always the challenge is to keep it watered good. <clears throat> you froze. You froze up, Tom, and then you had to watch an ad to get back in? <laughs> oh. Hey, have you guys, I don't know what ads, like, play for you guys, but, like, I'll go and watch, you know, like, people's videos, and, like, if I'm watching, like, you know, Joe's Firewood videos, I always get these ads where it's like, all right. Give me the next 30 seconds, and I'm going to explain to you how you can sit around and do absolutely nothing and get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. Or if you want to lose weight and you want to do nothing, you don't have to change the way you eat. You don't have to do any exercise. You don't have to do anything. Just follow this ad for 30 seconds. <laughs> so it's crazy, like, what's out there. But those ones with, like, uh, trying to, like, explain selling on Amazon or something, I mean, those things are, I'll probably get like, YouTube will probably now hear this in my, <laughs> on my video and like, ban me or something. <laughs> oh, Joe's firewood, I, I of course am having a little captain. Friday night, Captain Night. Oh, yes, Joe. What were the results of the poll? What are you going with? Are you going with the goatee? You're going to just go with the. I think you should just do the stash, man. Just the stash, nothing else. Hey, F4 Firewood. You have a good night yourself, my man. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Henry Rogers. Um, I have only been, well, technically I wasn't ripped off. One time I had... Uh, two ladies that came over and they took four bundles and paid me for two. <laughs> and um, so that's the only time. I've never had anybody take any wood without paying, which, you know, knock on wood has been a good thing. But, uh, yeah, it's been – and, like, I have on the uh, – one of the cameras I have out there, like I have pointed on the stand so I can like go back and watch, you know, whatever. But so I watched these ladies and I don't know if, if it was intentionally or if they, because the one lady came over to the pay box and then put some money in while the other lady was taking two bundles. And then the lady who put the money in, she took two bundles. So I don't know if they just had a miscommunication with each other of which was going to get the bundles and which was going to pay, but but yeah, so only one time, like I said, somebody took four bundles and paid me for two, which is better than taking four and paying me for nothing. So, but you know, that's that's the way it goes. Sometimes you just have, you know, I have heard of a. Uh, of guys 
uh, you know, like they'll go out to their stand and like all the wood's gone and there's no money in the box. <laughs> so luckily that hasn't happened yet. So, <laughs> yeah, Tom, I know. I just don't know, man. They were, it was, uh, and, and they were, I mean, they were, you know, like I said, I just don't know if the one thought that, you know, I don't know. They just had a miscommunication that, you know, one was getting the bundles and the other was paying, but then the one that paid grabbed the bundles. I don't know. <laughs> Shibi, you're out hunting deer again tomorrow? Didn't you? You slayed a big buck last weekend. But all right. Have a good night. Thanks again for stopping by. All right, Saw Surgeon, you got to get out of here too. Yeah, I think we're going to probably wrap it up anyway in a little bit. So. Yes, Joe, we do uh, we do daylight savings, fall back. Spring forward and fall back. <clears throat> I do not have a cheese head hat. I do not, Richard. <clears throat> I, I I actually have never had one, ever. Been a Packer fan my whole life, but I just could not bring myself to wearing a cheese head. <laughs> yep, it's eight fifty-five, Joe. Three, four in the morning in Sweden. My goodness, you're up early. Yeah, are you up late or up early, Emil? <laughs> hey, Greg, have a good weekend. We'll see you later. Um, oh yeah, sorry, Henry. So I only do, I used to do the 35, but I, I don't do that anymore. So now I just do the, the $20 stack and the $5 bundles. And the $20 stack is, uh, I think it's, how wide is it? It's 18 inches wide, 18 inches wide by 45 high. It's like not an exact, I think I figured it out once where it's like one sixth of a face cord or six, six of the $20 stacks equals a face cord. I think, I'm not sure though. Hey, Tom, Brian, have a good night. I can't, yes, show us your splitter, man. And once again, Tom, cheers. I'm going to finish my drink off to you, my man. Have a good night. So, yeah. I think actually that's going to probably do it because I am out and I have to go refill upstairs. So, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, in the description of this video once it goes, once it gets posted. So, um, <clears throat> if you if you want a chance at a large or an extra large t-shirt, leave a comment and uh, we'll do that drawing like either next week on the live feed or maybe during the week, something. Yep, Emil, I got your email. So, uh, once again, thank you, everyone. Well, I'll be getting the uh, the first the first plaques up on the wall, the, the Woodhound wall, and uh, it's been a great first year of selling. And I don't know how long I'm doing this, so 
You guys have a good night. Thanks again. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.